Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are covering Uber Eats clone and in this video we are going to look into what all different UI layouts we need to build. So this is the Uber Eats clone app and these are different services we have built and what we are going to focus on the landing page we already have. I'm going to focus on fetching the live data from the APIs for the top restaurant and fetching the data for the top restaurant menu items with the filters so we are going to apply all these filters filter by food type filter by price filter by ratings filter by price low to high high to low and then we also have this restaurant landing page so when you click onto the restaurant restaurant where you want to buy food you need to see the menu items which are available uh, or provided by the restaurant right so this is how we will show that when you click on the plus icon we will add the items to the food menu uh, cart okay so these are some of the the layouts which we will focus on uh, in this video we will also see if we need to build any additional api because this data we, we can fetch from the elastic search this data we can create as a paginated search api for the dish menu items because this is top rated menu items so we are actually looking for the dish menu items in your area so we will see how we can build it so it can be a, another paginated search and filter api in the postgres for the dish menu items this data we can fetch from uh, elastic search api and then uh, we also going to build a landing page for the restaurant so let's get started we will try to see what all we need to change in our components so this is our landing page looks like right so we need to work on uh, top rated menu and fetching this data okay so what we will do is if you look into our routes so i'm using uh, react router dom v6 and here you can actually group the routes and specify the layouts here we are using two different layouts one layout for the re restaurant landing page and one layout for the main landing page here we are just showing all these pages sign in sign up search and all so if you have, you have seen already sign in then there is a sign up page then there is a page which is a little bit simple page where you are entering the food menu or you are entering the, the restaurant name dish menu item name because this is elastic search you can enter anything i am comparing against all the different possibilities and then you will get the value so we need to we are just making a call to the restaurant service uh, which is indirectly calling elastic search to fetch the data and give it to give the list to us okay so this is the landing page let's fetch the top uh, rated restaurant and then then top rated menu items okay we are going to use the same redux toolkit to manage the state and we are just going to make an api call these all will be the public api because top rated menu items top rated restaurants will be a public endpoints which we are going to access okay so let's do that so let's uh, first work on the apis like what we need so here we are saying that on the landing page we want to see our uh, top three restaurant or just default three restaurants right so what i'm doing from the api i have created uh, three restaurant currently we have the admin console also we can use these apis to create three restaurants and then we can just uh, use this search api so what I need to do is I need to pass this token here. My APIs are running. And I can just pass this API. You can see it is showing this data, right? I can just say limit per page 10, 3. Now it will show me three results. So these three I can show on the landing page. Now apart from that, I need a dish with the filters, right? Currently, do we have the APIs? We have only restaurant search which can support you can see here the search keyword is optional and uh, we did some change here in the search query DTO the search text is now optional let's say if you are not passing anything in that case what would happen it will just uh, going to match with all so let's say if you are not specifying any search criteria and you wanted to fetch uh, some data right then you can just specify the query match all it will just give you all the data based on the limit and the offset because here we are passing limit and offset right so that is our restaurant controller and that is a public api so we are good here 
Now another important part which we need to add. So here it is. This is done. We have the data for it. We need to get the top rated menu item. So for that, uh, we don't have uh, an API which can give us the only the dish menu items. And when you click on to those, we should be able to navigate to the restaurant. So restaurant dish controller. Here, if you check our API spec, do we have anything like that? We don't have, right? So we just have a dish crud operation on top of restaurant. Now, what we will do is we will create a dish search API with pagination, filter, search, and sort. So to create this, uh, I can create a dish controller, a separate dish controller. This controller.ts, I will copy. So what is this? This is a simple dish controller, right? So I can just copy my existing restaurant controller. So this is my dish menu. And I will import all the things which I know. Okay. So this is the dish menu item, dish controller. And we have a restaurant dish service. We already have. So we are going to create this search DTO. Search query DTO because we want to allow user to pass different parameters, right? Like, uh, okay, search query DTO. So here we will go to the restaurant dish DTO. And these details I already have created. So I will be just using those uh, details to populate the data. And here, what do I have? Filter type. So filter type, uh, food type, filter type. I think we already have this enum. Filter type. So what all different filters we are specifying? We are specifying based on the price, ratings, and these three filters, delivery time. So this is order by is order by is also enum. Order by can be ascending and the descending. So I will just create both these enums and this is my search query DTO for the dish menu items per page limit offset order by filter type and search text search text you can pass um, any parameter. So here we are more focused on these filter types. Filter types means price ascending, descending, ratings ascending, descending, delivery time ascending, descending. And do we need to handle any other filter type? Here also there is a filter type. Okay, I'm looking for a particular food type. So we can also add a, another parameter which is food type. So food type, you can see we have the enum for that. So here is the food type. I think that is all cuisines, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. This is a meal type, food type, veg, non veg. Okay, so here I can add. So we can add a categories, right? Veg, non veg, vegan, and fast food, something like that, like which contains the burger and all. Okay, so food type is also allowed and here we can pass the food type. This is another parameter which we are allowing user to pass. Okay, this is a filter type. Now what we need to do is the dish controller. We got the search query DTO. I will import it and then list restaurant dish. I need to create in the service. Okay, so we will go to the restaurant dish service and we will create this method. Method is list restaurant dish and this query. So restaurant dish service. I will create this method here. I think and it is expecting a query DTO. I will just pass this. Okay, I created this and it is expecting query DTO. I will import this thing. And then what happens is we need to just uh, get all the parameters, whatever we are expecting from this filter. So here it is talking about all different type of filters which we want to apply 
so it it will be simple like okay what all different keywords you are passing so we are getting it from the query so what all parameters we have search text page limit filter type and order by and food type okay no this is filter type inside filter type we are specifying the food type okay and then we will just try to create offset what is our offset that we can calculate based on the limit limit multiply by page minus one right this is how we calculate simple page in api we are building and here we can just post query because we have to build a query for all these filter criteria which we have so i can just do this dot connection dot get repository so which repository are passing restaurant dish repository restaurant dish entity i mean get repository from the entity and then create query builder and here i need to specify the, the table name restaurant dishes and left join and select so what is the criteria on which you are selecting so here the criteria is restaurant dishes dot restaurant and link a relationship with the restaurant table so you can see our entities so this is the restaurant dish entity it has a relationship with the restaurant right restaurant and which is pointing to the restaurant entity so this is you can associate uh, the relationship so we got the query so replace it with the param and i will use the param word here so issues will be gone and this type script is little slow okay now if search text is being passed so we need to just specify these queries like okay if you are passing search text then what we need to do we need to apply the search so query dot add where add where close okay this is add where close where we need to specify i mean here i'm going to specify the multiple multiple scenarios so i can use New bracket new bracket if i remember okay it will take a callback to be and inside this i can specify multiple scenarios like okay q within this side this callback dot where restaurant dish dot name something like this right okay this is getting auto complete and then you can add over where so this is new bracket so this is my first uh, search condition so restaurant dishes dot name like restaurant dot dishes dot name like okay it is something like this and here we can specify that inside an object inside a second parameter this autocomplete didn't help me okay because it's a like query so we will just specify okay whatever the search is passing so this is our first uh, where close if search text is passing then we are doing end right this is my end query mm -hmm. and then i can just add or oh it is give me it should give me or where or where does not exist on type bracket so this is our bracket qb dot where okay then or where because we need to add a multiple conditions here let me see query dot add where and where okay then new bracket new brackets is coming from type orm that is correct 
and here we have a callback inside this callback qb dot where so da -da -da, qb dot where this is an expression opening and closing okay here i need to add this i was just checking how it works so if you want to add a multiple so qb dot where and then dot or where then here you can apply uh, specify the multiple conditions this is my another condition and then this is my you can say another condition so we have multiple search criteria right okay it can be from the dish dot name it can be from the description 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 and description and it can be from ingredients let's say you just specified paneer tikka or some ingredients so we will just compare with all of these things and here we will just close it so this is closing of the bracket and then closing of that and then okay all the conditions are now specified so this is first clause then here we will do is all the other filter type equal equal filter type dot dot price so you want to uh filter based on the price so we already have query object query dot order by so we are using type orm so that we can take the advantage of it so restaurant dishes dot price is the column we are going to play with restaurant dishes dot price and here i can specify order by if order by is being passed right so order by as order by which we have if it is being passed order by is a interface order by is a enum we already have so i will try to import that if order by is being passed right so what we will do is default it will be ascending order so what i'm saying is restaurant dishes dot price if filter type is price and order by is being passed then just pass the order by value if it is there otherwise by default it is in, in ascending order so similarly we have these three criteria because you can specify only one filter at a time so it is uh, else it so filter type equal equal to uh, filter type dot delivery type then it it belongs to this order by will belongs to delivery time so order by ascending order descending order otherwise this block so here filter type dot rating if your filter type is rating so here we will be comparing with rating column order by so maybe a top rated restaurant top rated dish menu items and then there is a filter type i added as a food menu items right so what we can do is that is not actually the order by so if you look into this food type how we can manage that like i am looking for only burgers pizza salad and chicken so for that it's a food type filter right mm hmm okay it's not a category it's a food type we can just do simple something like this i mean it's not you are not putting an order right so here else if and query dot first of all this would go on the top query dot add where because we already did this and where 
we can do this and here it is food time i will do something like this because that is an enum so you won't be passing any random value restaurant dishes dot food type so food type is this and food type is the the food type you are passing so filter type so here you are going to pass the food type value okay so let's uh, look into the service i was trying to talk about uh, i was doing the filter based on the food type so it's better that food type can be a totally different filter and we can have that in the dto so i created this as a food type as a separate filter that can be a uh, veg non veg vegan or a fast food or something so we can see that here is a separate uh, filter for the food type which can be all these options okay filter type and order by this is how our simple filter api works and then i will go to the restaurant dish service and here we have this food type and here i will put a condition if food type is being passed because food type is a enum so you cannot just pass any random value and if food type is being passed then i will just do query dot add where So and where if it is being passed. So this is the condition put type. It's a simple equals, right? So we can just use this one. What I'm saying is if put type Food type and this is search text so here there is a we need to pass food type i think because this is a equals operation right so what we need to do is food type is because what we are comparing these are the like expressions here we are comparing that the whatever the food type we are passing that should be equals to the food type we have in the restaurant dish table so here we can just simply say restaurant dishes dot food type equal to this expression food type this is how we can compare okay the food type should exactly match with this and then this is if you are passing the filter type and order by this will apply like this so food type is a separate filter now we can test this api and we will integrate this api on to the front end so now we can test our apis for that we need to create uh, we need to fetch some restaurant and we need to create some dish menu items let's say here i can create some dish menu items and this thumbnail uh, we can just pass that thumbnail as a string let me change the entity for it so this is our dto restaurant dto and thumbnail is of type let's say var care default null i'm changing the column type here and this is our thumbnail because we have that in the restaurant also we can keep the same or we can just use the banner keyword keep it thumbnails okay and in the the restaurant dish controller in the restaurant dish dto so here we should have the the parameter create restaurant dish and this is ingredient food type thumbnails so here thumbnails is of type string optional and now i can just reload i use this image okay i can copy some of the id so let's say i'm using this particular id we will use admin dashboard for managing all these things i'm doing it for the one time so here is my dish and i'm going to create the restaurant dish menu item for that i just need this access token 
and I'm stealing some images from here and there. Okay, this menu item has been created. So we will just uh, create some dish menu items. So here you can see the food type is vegan. So if I try to go and try to fetch this list, Anitika search term can be empty. Here I will just set it as a vegan. I got the results, right? So I got uh, both the menu items. So this is how simple filter is working. If I just select it as a wedge, then I will get empty results, right? So here we can just pass all these filters. Here I can add this as a known wedge also. So this filter is non wedge. And if I now do it, apply this, then I will get the results. So what I'm going, going to do is offline, I'm going to generate some data, which contains all these uh, filters, all the data of like food type, uh, prices, average pricing and all. So currently for the landing page, the APIs are done. We have the, the restaurant dishes, API V1 dishes, where you can actually do the filters, apply all the filters. And for the landing page, we can use this restaurant search. Now it's all about using the Redux toolkit and doing the integration and calling these both public APIs. They don't need uh, API keys because these both are public APIs, which because user is just reading that information on the landing page. So let's connect in the next video and we'll do the, the UI integration.